Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Sunny CA's 55 gallon uh, reef tank. So this is going to be a quick update. Um, I haven't had a chance to clean the tank lately. I've been gone uh, this last week because of Thanksgiving break. And I went out to Arizona. <clears throat> so the tank hasn't been cleaned in two weeks and it probably won't get clean today it might we'll see um but just a quick update on mr anemone here this is my green bubble tip anemone got him i think two three two weeks ago i don't know check my other video um but it's doing really good it hasn't moved from the spot i put it in uh, the bubbles aren't there anymore, but that's because the clownfish are hosting him. Uh, I don't really care about that. Got the nice purple tips on it. Looking really good. Little clowns are happy. Um, and these uh, ones right here are new tentacles. Because the front right here used to be the front right here, and it's kind of like grown that way and this is all new right here which is kind of cool um let's see if my sand's all lumpy cause uh the sleeper banded goby my sister calls him sandman oh there we go there's mama clown doing rearranging the sand um Let's see, where's the sleeper banded goby? I don't know, my sister calls him Sandman. Oh, but here is one of those uh, lettuce sea slugs that I was talking about that I have. And they grow really quick. Must have good source of food for these guys. Um, another interesting thing is, I don't know if you can tell, but right there is one of the arms of my hermit crab. And right here's another one. I saw down in this hole the other day, like the whole uh, shell, exoskeleton, body part of the hermit crab. And I was like, oh crap, he died. Uh, but I saw him this morning. He's just out and about. So I didn't know hermit crabs did that, but he shed like everything, not his shell, but all his bodily protection. Um, as far as the maroon clowns go, the only aggression that I've seen is she kind of does, I don't know, we'll see if she does it, but she kind of like nips at the snails when they get close to the anemone, uh, but that's about it, and I really don't care, because that's not that bad. But these guys are really cool, they've got like these pink spots on them, and they're green, with those ruffles. Um, Monipora is doing good. It had a little bleach spot in the middle, but that's all gone. Growing nice and well. Mushrooms, same old. White pom pom zinnia. The ever frustrating zoanthids. My double headed Fiji leather. Green eyed Favia. Another Zoes. And my branching frog spawn actually is growing another head. Uh, if you can see, there's a head right there, head right here, and a head down there. So it's got three heads now. It's kind of cool. Uh, but some new additions. We've got down in here, we've got a Kenya tree that was growing off the stalk of a uh, trumpet coral, which was like half alive, kind of dead. Uh, that was. 1999. Uh, the guy at the fish store said that you might be able to revive it, might not. We'll see. I'm gonna break it off the stalk of the Kenya tree and uh, give it some more light and see if it comes back. Over here we've got bad lighting, but it's a golden greenish brown uh, porites coral, porites coral. Not sure gonna put him up top see how well he grows I heard they're pretty slow growers and then of course we got a uh, 
skunk cleaner. Oh wait, there's the sleeper banded goby. They do miracles for your sand. They clean it. However, they do toss it around a lot, and I'm debating uh, getting a starry blenny. Starry, I don't know, but they're kind of black with these white spots. They look really cool. They perch on the corals. They do clean the sand, but they don't make all these mounds and stuff. So uh, we'll see. <clears throat> And then I might trade them in, I'm not sure. And then right here is a uh, waving hand Zenia, I guess. It pulses. But it's got, uh, the guy at the fish store told me it's a green tipped waving pom pom Zenia. And it's uh, supposedly kind of rare. I mean, I'd, I'm not sure if I buy that, but uh, it looks really cool. Um, it supposedly grows quick, so it'll be nice for fragging and trading in. And if you know anything about those kind of corals, leave a comment because I'm kind of interested, uh, which is why I bought it, obviously. And he was $19.99. The Porites Coral was $9.99. Mr. Cleaner Shrimp was 12 And that guy was 19 like I said. Um... As for the tank goes, besides it being really dirty, I'm actually really pleased with how it's looking. Uh, I'm gonna stop, you know, obviously I'm gonna start stocking up with corals some more. Uh, gonna make it start looking really good. Um, and as a sign of my tank maturing, we've got coralline algae growing on the back, on the equipment. We've got these little white tube worms growing everywhere. Um, there's some coralline spots back here. So, just a little update. Um, speaking of the tube worms, just wondering, if I look up on the bottom of my Monipora here, you see those white dots? Those are all tube worms, and I was just wondering if that's bad or good. Uh, and same with right here, they're kind of growing on my Zoes, but wasn't too worried about that. And just a really quick update, like I said, move the Favia up here because he was getting buried in the sand, but I like him there anyways, so happy with that. As far as the refugium goes, we've got just my live rock here, good catomorpha growth. Uh, as recommended by... New York Stilo. Oh crap. Um, I've left my lights on 24 7 to get. Right, hold on a second. Sorry about that, I just dropped my light a little bit. Um, but as recommended by New York Stilo, I've turned my, uh, left my lights on 24 seven. Got some really good Catomorpha growth. Um, algae levels in the tank are really low. Besides the fact that I haven't cleaned in two weeks. But other than that, I'm pretty happy. And the new edition should be going in in a minute, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, <clears throat> so everything's in the tank now, and I just wanted to catch this really quickly. But Mr. Cleaner Shrimp's already doing his work. Uh, the Tang being the boss of the tank, immediately went over to check out the new uh, edition, and the edition. <laughs> jumped on him. It spooked him at first, but now he understands what's up. He's getting himself a nice clean. Um, which is really cool. It's what I like to see. So, just for the placement of the stuff, I've got that uh, Kenya tree and those candy cane, cow, uh, some scientific name. 
things right there. I'm definitely going to be moving them in a second. Uh, I'm going to see if it's kind of situated. They're kind of together in a funny sort of way. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to break that up and frag it. Sorry. But yeah, here's the porites coral right on top. And those green tip zinnias are just right there. I just put in. Maybe it's a little too high flow, uh, but we'll see. So there's just an update. Um, yeah, my night lights just came on. So I don't think these guys will be opening up. But uh, I'm gonna move this bucket to the way. My Favia. My Favia is probably my second favorite coral in the tank. Behind the Fiji leather. My two favorite corals right there. Um, but yeah, this is just to get a good look at the tank. Everything's all washed out blue, it's kind of gross. But uh, Colors definitely stand out now. See if we can get close up on this guy. Yeah, see the nice polyp extension and all that stuff. It's Mr. Fabio. I think it might actually be like a Gonoporia. No. Ah, I forgot the name. It starts with a G. But I'm not sure. I don't think it really makes a difference to me. I like it either way. There's the frog spawn. Three headed branching frog spawn now. Mr. Cleaner Shrimp. Eh, Xenias. Just trying to get these uh, zoanthids right here to start growing onto that frag plug. This is why they're up top. I've kind of been doing that over here. I saw them closed up a minute ago and they had a bunch of head, new heads on them. Same with this guy. I'm trying to get him to grow down this rock. He's all the way around the back too. Um, I'm somewhat debating uh, actually selling frags and stuff online. And I was thinking in the future I could use my YouTube channel to do that. Um, you know, so people could see the corals, how they're doing, what setup I have them in. Um, so it's not, you know, blind buying from some random guy. Uh, I'll be getting a lot more corals soon. Probably nicer corals than those little $10 zoanthids. Um, but, you know, it, and this, this isn't, you know, my idea. I took it first. If I think it'd be a great idea for anybody out there interested in it. Especially some of the more experienced guys, you know, New York Stilo, um, Ricketts Reef, you know, any of you guys out there with some nice tanks and extra frags, just a little idea. Um, I know I might be trying it. Definitely, if you're interested, contact me. Um, or if you live in San Diego, go ahead and do that. That'd be pretty cool. But eventually, I start fragging some stuff, selling some stuff. Um, I'm also debating getting a, building some kind of DIY frag tank to either go here, where my surfboards are, on the side, or not there, because that's where my door is, or above it, or below, but, move this stool, as you can tell, really don't have that much room down below. And it'd be kind of difficult with like plumbing and all that kind of stuff. But it would be plumbed into the main tank so I wouldn't have to run a bunch of new crap. I'd probably just have um, some sort of, not overflow box. I don't know how I'd do it. I'd have to think of it. If you have any suggestions on ways to do it, that'd be really cool too. We're running out of time. But, no, there she goes again. She's doing that a lot now. I don't really mind. 
It's all part of it. Uh, so those are just some ideas. I want to be building a can. I know it's a lot of crap, but I want to build a canopy for this. So the lights out of the way. Just give it a more finished look. Um, so this is update, new additions, new corals, and see you guys next time.